Not since Billy T. James has there been a New Zealand comedy series quite like Brotown. The boys from the suburb of Morningside have found their way into the hearts of a huge number of Kiwis. Just like Billy T, they've copped a bit of criticism. But maybe that's par for the course when you're creating groundbreaking comedy. And there's little doubt that's what the first series of Brotown was. So, are they resting on their laurels? Well, in the words of Jeff the Māori, not even Al. Morning side for life! We want to smash the stereotype. Yeah. Yeah. We want to celebrate them. Well, I remember, I remember a bakery in Morningside. Yeah, Morning. Yeah. Morning. A lot of Ireland used to go. Did you, what did you just say? What's up? Morning. Write it down, Mario. Right. 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 Write it down. Right. 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 And that supposedly is how the unremarkable Auckland suburb of Morningside became the iconic location for a hit series about five teenage boys. But school's important. But then again, I don't know if I can be stuff. Oh. And if you want to know what the boys might look and act like when they've grown up, meet the men behind them. Oscar Kitely, Mario Nawa, Chimpala Lisi, and Dave Fane, AKA the Naked Samoans. Following their successful debut series, the second season of Brotown is now back on our screens. What about the pressure of a second series? And the second series, you know, is underway. No, I don't feel it, mate. Don't, don't, I don't feel any pressure. <laughs> pressure. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Mario, Ooh, uh, let's it? do a reenactment, OK? Yeah, yeah. This is water, and yeah. you're a duck's back. Right, right, right. <laughs> 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 well, pressure smisher. <laughs> pressure, 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 pressure coming down. Oh, pressure, I love you, pressure. Pressure. I love yeah. you. you know, we knew there was expectation out there from you know, the audience and the public and stuff, but there was there was also, we, I think we had expectation of ourselves after having done that first series and yeah. thinking, was that a fluke? Can we no, do it again? No, no, for, no not for, yeah. for us, hey, for, hey. for ourselves, you know? Quick, pass me the hammer the hammer claw! And look! Oh no, the acid in his poo poo must have burnt his pee pee off! Don't be a dick, Mac! Lucan's a girl! Hey! Oh. Brotown is the brainchild of Oscar's friend, producer-director Elizabeth Mitchell. She thought the Naked Samoans would make a great animated series. That was the easy part. The hard part was getting the funding together. It took two years. What the hell do you think I am? A parent? We hoped it would be as successful as it has been and we thought it had all the right ingredients. Um, so it was like, why don't you give us the money? We can. We can do it. <laughs> it was a classic case of a white lady comes in mm. to the brown people and says, hey, I've got a lady. lovely white lady, lovely yes. white lady. very yeah. spunky, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, she yeah. goes, I've got a great idea. And yeah. all of us, you, great idea. And then she goes, I want to make a cartoon animation. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And then we signed this contract and then we sort of, wow, we're really in for it now. We're in the yeah. shit now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it meant starting from scratch. This is the studious engine room of Brotown far removed from the chaos of the scripting process. A completely hand-drawn animation series is painstaking, requiring 12 drawings just to make one second of program. Only the colour is done by computer. It's labour-intensive, time-consuming work. You still do run into people that kind of say, wow, um, do you just do all that on computer? It's like, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maka Makatoa is Brotown's animation director. Do you still find it funny when you've seen it all put together? Oh, I do. Oh, the design is the catwalk, the nightlife. It's going to be so awesome. Huh? Finding enough animators to make Brotown was the next challenge. Oh, look at me. I'm a model. I'm a... a lot of the first series was contracted out to a company in India. No surprise who their favourite character was. Hey, Sadisha. Oh, home alone. Money is for some honeys. Don't you think there's enough islanders in Morningside without you making more with my wife? This year, in conjunction with Wins, Brotown's makers ran a course for young would-be animators, like Johnny Angel. Yes, that's really his name, and yes, he would make a great cartoon character. He even has some preliminary sketches to prove it. The muscles are just a bit <laughs> exaggerated. Yeah. But that'll have to wait, as Johnny Angel is now one of 50 animators employed to produce Brotown. Because I love art. Yeah. Enjoying 
Well, as a budding artist, I mean, you know, to be offered the chance to work on Bro, that would have been huge, wouldn't it? Yeah, that was really exciting for me. I owe them a lot, the Bro Town. You guys are an industry now, aren't you? I and mean, you walk in the door and, you know, there's a lot of people relying on you now. No, it's a blessing. It's yeah. a blessing because we walk in and, and you know the, the raw the materials that we're able to string together in a script, because mm. that's what it is, a funny script creates work for heaps of, you know, other, mm. and adds yeah, to an and industry. And use their skills and a lot to make the world a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of our animators come from the Philippines, from Korea. Two dollars a month. <laughs> what? Yeah. Some of them, two bucks a month. <laughs> Did they get a raise? Yeah. Two, two bucks. <laughs> What's wrong, Wong? <laughs> <laughs> Just whack off. You wouldn't understand. So how has Rotown managed to avoid the cultural cringe other Kiwi comedies have been beset with? Oh, hey, check out your fella's new car. The guys themselves believe it's because they've never tried to second-guess the audience. It was always uh, important for us that it was funny to us first, that we all got it. And I mean, like, you know, nat we we're naturally funny guys yeah. anyway. Which is, you know, we're which is, which is yeah. quite hard because yeah. sometimes Mario he's, takes he's a bit longer. Very, he's very <laughs> to pick up on yeah. the, He is know? so yeah. funny. Yeah. But yeah. You've changed, bro. What a... Yeah, yeah, you'll be back. Stuff this once with mate stuff. Yeah, stuff, stuff with mate. Stuff your mates. Stuff them in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess with the, the Samoan and Māori cultures, you're, you're actually mining into a rich vein of laughing at ourselves anyway. We, we have our best humour in that way. Oh, yeah. A lot of Polynesian humour tends to be self-deprecating just because if you look at the stats, we do tend to be at the bottom end. Mm. And so one way of coping with that, you know, oh, you know, you wake up, you've got no lunch to take to school, the easiest way to cope is to laugh about it. And for our part, it's just nice to see brown faces. Yeah. And, and they're not always beating each other up. Yeah, they're yeah. actually ha having a laugh and a smile. <laughs> <laughs> In much the same way as you're That's not brilliant. a Hollywood A-lister unless you've been on The Simpsons, a cameo appearance in Bro Town has got to be good for your street cred. Marvellous, but what's behind your unique look? My arse! <laughs> oh, no. And there's Kate Sylvester, and that's Karen Walker. Oh, she does great trousers, but not my size, unfortunately. Marvellous. Marvellous. Oh, it's fantastic. But today, Bro Town's best celebrity get wasn't a New Zealander but the royal heir to the throne. Tell me about how Prince Charles came to appear in the second <laughs> series. Uh, I just asked him, said, oh, would he do a line for the show? And he said, piss no. off, Dave. He said <laughs> no. For the first time, mate, didn't he? Yeah. He almost broke our hearts. But then Helen Clark, bless her heart, oh. came to our rescue. She said, I'll go on. Oh, I was in the first series. Morningside's a, uh, yeah. a suburb in my electorate, and uh, he went, oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. okay. All right. Do you mind if I get a picture? Brotown has received much critical success, winning Best Comedy at this year's New Zealand Screen Awards. I reckon you fellas would uh, be appreciated, not like those bloody thicko Australians. But with the commercial and critical acclaim came criticism too. Accusations of blatant use of stereotypes. I come from a land down under, yeah. And claims Brotown's humour is just too childish. Hey, a poo! Here we go, the poo poo, here we go, the poo poo. The poo. Yeah, I, I, that sort of annoys me. I mean, people sort of seize on the poos and wheeze aspect, which is great, admittedly, and the sort of puerile nature of the humour, but. They don't think up the clever lines. They don't remember those ones. Yeah, you know, true, the ones yeah, like yeah. capitalism is the best game in the world. War is fun, fun too, too, but you, you run, run out, out of people. people. They don't quote that stuff. No, they don't. <laughs> but the whole thing is, you know, it's about these five 14-year-old boys and their worldview, and that's the way they look at the world, and that's the language they use, and that's what's important to them. Food? Mm -hmm. Yeah, food. <laughs> yeah! Food! 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 food. Is, that a, is that a mark of your success, though, the fact that you have been criticised, that people have looked for things to, to, to be negative about? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I suppose. But, you know, you can't create art without it 
attracting criticism. Yeah. You know, whether it's you know positive or negative. But Dave came up with a great line. What's that great line, Dave? Which one? You know, the two negatives one. Oh yeah. Well, two negatives make a positive. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we just best sort of physics. Our hearts. Yeah. Best <laughs> physics. That's, that's pure chemistry. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's science and action. That's science and action. Yeah. Ooh, hot chicks. Some of the most ardent critics were those who had to put up with the infectious nature of the program. And perhaps the most recognisable, some would say annoying phrase. It was Jeff, he's a Maori. Not even now. To the point that it's even been banned in some schools. <laughs> oh, that was a... That was brilliant. <laughs> you just have to accept the fact that you can't make everybody happy. <laughs> no, but it's also, I mean, it's its also a measure of the yeah. success. You know, it's become rock and roll for kids. You know, they do it because it annoys the principal. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting scared now. No, you come first. No, you come on second. Three to four, fifth, fifth. I'm going to give you my special. Oh, 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 oh. Is that the time? By Jeff? Yeah, who else wants on me? You've changed, bro. What a... He'll be back stuffed as once was mate stuff. For these mates, the future looks good. The series screened soon in Australia, and there are plans for Brotown the movie. Their expectations, though, haven't changed. What do you hope people will get from the second series? A laugh. Yeah, a laugh. Yeah. That's very important. Yeah, a, a laugh. laugh. Number one, a laugh. Yeah. Number a two, laugh. a laugh. Yeah. Number three, one, a laugh. laugh. And, yeah, yeah. And, 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 the, and the feeling that they can smile sweetly towards a loved one. Mm. 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 Yeah. As the work that we do here helps the world spin one more rotation, then we will continue to write. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Hey, that's hey. the belt for this. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>